Good evening, everyone. I'd like to call to order this regular meeting of the Naperville Park District Board of Commissioners. It is Thursday, March 12th, 2020 at 7 p.m. If everyone that is able would please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Bridget, please take the roll. President Janner? Here. Vice President King? Here. Commissioner Carlson? Here. Commissioner Egan? Present. Commissioner McBroom? Here. Commissioner Riley? Absent. Commissioner Todd? Here. Item two on our agenda is matters from the public. Bridget, is anyone from the public signed up to speak here tonight? Uh, no, they aren't. Okay. Next, we will move on to recognitions. Tonight, we are pleased to recognize the accomplishments of several Eagle Scouts who have contributed their time and talents to assist the Naperville Park District in serving the community. Would Eagle Scouts Keon Jawani, Carlos Aspero, and Carter Mead please join me at the podium? Naperville Park District is grateful to the many scouts who choose to complete their Eagle Scout or Gold project to benefit our parks. Keon completed his Eagle project last summer at Oak Ridge Parkway. He recruited and managed a group of volunteers who cleared over 100 square feet of invasive plants in the park. Removing these plants makes room for more diverse native plants to grow and creates a healthier habitat for pollinators and wildlife in the area. You can see some photos up on, the, uh, up on the screen. Carlos completed a project to benefit our natural environment. He provided and installed approximately 10 birdhouses in several different parks. He was able to work through the challenges of digging and installing posts and figuring out the best way to attach the birdhouses to the posts. The birdhouses will give wild birds safety from predators warmth during cold months, and a place for breeding. We appreciate your efforts to help birds, which are so important to our environment. Carter chose to enhance the outdoor play area for our Toadstools and Pollywogs preschool that meets at Seeger Park Interpretive Center. His Eagle project was to build a cedar storage unit that doubles as an outdoor play kitchen for the children. His project required planning, leadership, and problem solving our preschool teachers and students will enjoy this addition at Seeger Park for many years to come. So guys, on behalf of all of us at the Naperville Park District, our Board of Commissioners, and our Executive Director, I want to thank sincerely each of you for your initiatives to improve our parks. Congratulations on a job well done, and I have some certificates to present to you as well. So one moment and I'll grab those for you.
Okay, item four on our agenda is updates and reports. First item 4.1 is the Riverwalk Commission update. Commissioner Carlson? No report. Thank you. Next is the Parks Foundation update. Vice President King? No report. Thank you. 4.3, our Finance Committee update. Commissioners Carlson or McBroom? No report. Thank no you. Report. Legislative Committee, Commissioners McBroom and Riley? Yes, the uh, Legislative Committee met on March 4th at 10.30 a.m. Uh, legislative updates, Manager Omenson updated the committee regarding a couple of IAPD's 2020 Illinois General Assembly bills of interest to park districts, including Senate Bill 2956, confirming IDNR's authority to extend the OSLED grants, grant deadlines beyond two years if needed, which seems likely to pass. Bills regarding debt service and pension reforms were introduced and will also be follow. Uh, the status of capital bill grants for 2020 product projects, Manager Omenson reported that we have not yet heard from Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity that the approved grant funding will be provided to the district in 2020. Per a recent communication, applicants were advised to allow at least three to six months to receive an executed grant agreement after receiving the request for pro project information. Since time is uncertain and the grant agreement is required before we can start, we're identifying alternate playground projects to be moved up to 2020 if needed. Outreach to legislators, Manager Omenson discussed opportunities to reach out to the legislators. The IAPD Legislative Awareness Breakfast hosted by the Wheaton Park District was held on March 6th, attended by Manager Omenson and Commissioner Riley. Um, our Earth Day Fair will be held at the Fort Hill Activity Center on Sunday, April 19th from 1 to 4. Manager Omenson will be extending invitations to state and local officials to attend this event and our upcoming ribbon cuttings at Wolf Crossing Community Park in the 95th Street Community Plaza. Okay. Thank you. The next report is the Parks and Recreation Committee update. Commissioner Totten. Okay. The Parks and Recreation Committee met on February 21st, 2020. Representatives from Havenshine Technologies presented a, propo a proposal to pilot GPS-assisted navigation smart mowers in our parks. These rechargeable, battery-operated mowers would run cleaner, improve efficiency, and reduce costs by eliminating the need for an operator. Further studies going to be conducted. Director Schutz updated the committee that residents' response to a proposed basketball court at Three Meadows Park was low and did not show a consensus, so we will not proceed. He also provided a list for discussion of those capital improvement projects staff has identified should be added, shifted, or removed, including those to be further evaluated following review of the 2020 market analysis and the community interest and opinion survey and those affected by the timing of distribution of grant funds. He also informed the committee of the annual capital projects tour to be conducted during the March 26 regular board meeting. Director Wilson discussed a major initiative within our programs to encourage, encourage sportsmanship and distributed a copy of the resolution to be presented for approval to observe National Sportsmanship Day on the first Tuesday of March annually, March 3rd this year. It will also be supporting and encouraging good sportsmanship through promotional means. Director Wilson distributed an updated behavior code, uh, behavior code of conduct, expanded to apply to guests of it at our programs and parks and facilities, not just program participants. Upon approval, this will be incorporated into the administrative policies, added to the district website, in reference to participant waivers and permits. Staff is updating administrative policies and plans to add two items, a Millennium Carillon Lighting Program and the Behavioral Code of Conduct, which we referenced before. Director Schutz updated the committee regarding the administration building outdoor dynamic signs installation, the annexation ordinance for Springbrook Water Reclamation Center, uh, the Commissioner's Park outdoor fitness equipment replacement, the Commissioner's Park and DuPage River Sports Complex inline skate rink renovation, and the 95th Street Community Plaza IGA. Director Wilson updated the committee on the transition process 
with official finders, the new provider for soccer referee services. Since our three-year contract with GFS for food and kitchen supplies procurement ends in March, bids have been solicited and the evaluation committee selected GFS based on pricing and convenience. Superintendent Carlson reported that the Naperbrook practice range renovation project bid specs are being reviewed for possible changes in scope or value engineering as all the bids received were over budget. Staff is making final preparations for both course openings in mid-March. The next meeting for the committee will be is scheduled for April 17th. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Todd. The next report is the board president report. First, I'd like to uh, congratulate our own executive director, McGurry, who received the 2020 Golden Pancake Award. I imagine that was a pretty big spatula. Uh, from the Kiwanis Club of Naperville at the club's 65th annual pancake breakfast. This award is given annually to an individual who supports the Kiwanis Club's mission of providing excellent service with a focus on children and youth. So, Ray, congratulations to you. With all of the unknowns that still surround coronavirus, COVID-19, and understanding that this topic is generating concern for many people right now, I wanted to provide a brief update to our residents and participants regarding the Naperville Park District. First, I would like to reassure our residents, participants, and guests that your well-being is our number one priority. Currently, we are working with the Naperville School Districts and DuPage County Health Department to monitor the situation as it pertains to our organization. Just a short time ago, we launched a web page at napervilleparks.org slash coronavirus to serve as a central location for residents, program participants, and facility guests to reference for up-to-date information. Obviously, things seem to be changing very rapidly. Here's where we currently stand with regard to program operations. Number one, both Naperville School Districts 203 and 204 have canceled use of their facilities to outside organizations until further notice. Therefore, Park District programs held in school facilities are canceled. Two, remaining practices and games for Naperville youth basketball are also canceled due to the fact that the program creates a large gathering of participants and spectators at the Fort Hill Activity Center. After consulting with the DuPage County Health Department and consistent with practices that are being implemented nationwide with sporting events and large gatherings, the Naperville Park District is canceling the remainder of the Naperville youth basketball season. Currently, all other Naperville Park District programs will be held as scheduled, and all facilities remain open, including the Fort Hill Activity Center. I also want to take this opportunity to emphasize the fact that our staff has been on top of this issue from a facility health standpoint from the very beginning, and we have enhanced our cleaning processes over the past couple of weeks with additional tools and methods. We also have added disinfecting wipes and hand sanitizer to our facilities, and we strongly encourage their use by both our patrons and staff. We certainly appreciate everyone's patience, understanding, and vigilance during these very trying times as we all work together locally and beyond to resolve this current worldwide health issue. With that, I'll turn it over to Executive Director McGurry for his report. Thank you, uh, President Janner. Uh, the Naperville Park District Spring Program Guide has been delivered to residents and is available online at Naperville, naprillparks.org. Registra registration for spring programs, summer camps, and baseball and softball is now underway. View the details and register at naprillparks.org. Last month, the board passed a resolution to promote good sportsmanship district-wide in all of our athletic programs. Good sportsmanship, teamwork, and respect have always been the foundation of the Park District Athletics, but it's a good time to remind everyone how important it is for our kids and all of us uh, to adhere to this. Look for posters, banners, and other communications in our sports pro uh, por programs related to the sportsmanship initiative. Mark your calendar for the fourth annual Earth Week of Naperville, April 19th through the 26th, when organizations across the community will offer special events and volunteer projects to beautify our surroundings and um, opportunities to learn about our environment. The Park District will host a shredding event on Saturday, April 18th at Fort Hill Activity Center. Fort Hill also will host the Earth Day Fair on Sunday, April 19th from 1 to 4 p.m. In celebration of the 50th anniversary of uh, Earth Day, come and connect with local organizations, get eco-friendly tips and giveaways, and enjoy fun educational activities for kids. 
For more information, visit neighborvilleparks.org backslash EarthWeek to learn more. And finally, the 2020 State of the Park District was just released this week on our Park Talk podcast. Tune in to hear from our staff about the Park District's three big projects for 2020, the latest recreation challenges, and what's new in parks, golf, staffing, and technology, and other popular mailbag episode answering your question. The Park District's Park, Park Talk podcast is available at neighborvilleparks.org backslash podcast and on most podcast apps, including Apple, Google, Spotify, and more. Tune in from your home, in your car, uh, out on a walk, or wherever you can to listen to uh, some great information. Thank you. Thank you, Executive Director McGurry. The next item on our agenda is the monthly Treasurer's Report. Move to approve the January uh, 2020 Treasurer's Report, which includes $365 in board travel expenses to attend the 2020 IAPD IPRA conference. Second. Is there any discussion? Bridget, please take the roll. Vice President King? Yes. Commissioner Todd? Yes. Commissioner Carlson? Yes. Commissioner Egan? Aye. Commissioner McBroom? Yes. President Janner? Yes. Next item on our agenda is the consent agenda. We have 17 different items under consideration here tonight. Bridget, would you please read the items on the consent agenda? Item 6.1, approve February 2020 disbursements in the amount of $1,014,029.51. 6.2, approve February 2020 disbursements made through the Bank of America Purchasing Card Program in the amount of $140,798.79. 6.3, approve February 2020 customer refunds in the amount of $342.82. 6.4, approve 2020 financial policies and fiscal procedures. 6.4, approve February 13, 2020 regular meeting minutes. 6.6, approve February 13, 2020 executive session closed meeting minutes. 6.7, approve Ordinance 977, annexation to Naperville Park District, the property commonly known as Springbrook Water Reclamation Center. 6.8, award the contract for the Commissioner's Park and DuPage River Sports Complex inline skate rink resurfacing project to Sport Court Midwest in the amount of $205,181.55. 6.9, award the contract for the Administration Building Outdoor Dynamic Sign Installation Project to Chicago Sign and Light Company in the amount of $36,627. 6.10, approve the contract for the Commissioner's Park Outdoor Fitness Equipment Renovation Project to Game Time in the amount of $94,500. 6.11, approve re revisions to the Naperville Park District Administrative Policies effective March 2020. 6.12, approve the incentive program agreement with Gordon Food Services, Inc. For, gro for food, grocery, snacks, and related kitchen and food supplies. 6.13, approve the purchase of fertilizers for park services in an amount not to exceed $78,592.54 from Tyler Enterprises, option A. 6.14, approve the purchase of grass seed from Martinson Turf for an amount not to exceed $10,500 and from National Seed for an amount not to exceed $18,700. 6.15, award the tree trimming, tree removal bid to Steve Piper and Sons for an amount not to exceed $95,000. 6.16, approve the purchase of one 2024 Transit 150 cargo van from Curry Motors Fleet for $30,804. And 6.17, move to approve revisions to the Naperville Park District personnel policies effective March 2020. Thank you. Are there any items to be removed from the consent agenda? All right, move to accept consent agenda items 6.1 through 6.117. Second. Thank you. Bridget, please take the roll. Vice President King? Yes. Commissioner Todd? Yes. Commissioner Carlson? Yes. Commissioner Egan? Aye. Commissioner Broom? Yes. President Janner? Yes. Move to approve consent agenda items 6.1 through 6.117. Second. This is a voice vote. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Then we will move on to unfinished business. We have none. New business, we have none. 
So future meetings, the next regular meeting of the Board of Park Commissioners will, and Capital Projects Tour will take place on March 26, 2020 at 6.30 p.m. at the Fort Hill Activity Center Multipurpose Room, followed by the regular meeting of the Board of Park Commissioners April 9, 2020, 7 p.m. right here at the Naperville Municipal Center. We have no exec session, right? We're doing okay. Move to adjourn to executive session to discuss land acquisition under Section 2C5 of the Open Meetings Act. Second. Thank you, Bridget. Please call the roll. Vice President King. Yes. Commissioner Carlson. Yes. Commissioner Egan. Aye. Commissioner McBroom. Yes. Commissioner Todd. Yes. President Janner. Yes. There'll be no action after executive session. <laughs>